Hello everyone. In this lecture, I want to discuss some advanced topics for cash game players. So, a lot of players, uh, you know, read about various strategies, and over the course of their playing career, keep switching. Sometimes, you know, they would be very tight. Then they would start playing a lot loosely. And uh, then eventually they would shift back to, you know, playing tight poker and, you know, every time, every day, like they are refining their game, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. And that is why there is uh, like a lot of variance and those players that are winning consistently uh, and uh, those that have risen through the stakes have shared that they played a very GTO kind of game and uh, they knew what they would do in each situation and uh, they weren't like that exploitative and most people like what they do is you know they be, they try to be exploitative and uh, then they end up losing and tilting themselves if you just figure out what you will do in each situation and you have you know a rule kind of system that's you know much easier on you so in in that case you don't need to you know think then you do not, do, do not need to you know that frustrated about your decision you know that this decision is going to you know make you money in the long run and you just keep taking it without thinking about what the result will happen you don't you know uh, get frustrated about the result or you don't do not care about the result anymore you just become like a robot and you're just playing you know a plus EV kind of game a game that you're sure that is going to win you money then a lot of players like have this doubt whether poker is uh, uh, poker is gambling or it's a skill game but but any game that involves large sums of money is going to make you emotionally attached and with that attachment it's uh, going to tilt you and with that tilt you are going to you know, make lot of bad decisions and uh, uh, then again you will just like a gambler, you know, uh, you will keep on losing. So you have to be wary because poker is a game that's played with money and lot of online players are getting stakers and backers and they eliminate the money part and just give lot of volume and they have an edge in the game and that what makes them slow consistent money okay so let me you know uh, show you uh, some part of this book as well uh, that I wrote so okay so playing ranges like most players, most amateur players never think about ranges and uh, most professionals just play ranges and uh, in every situation they are going to think about what range your opponent is going to have and how your range compares to your opponent's range and your equity versus uh, you know the other player so that way it's much more uh, profitable and uh, you don't make oversights for example if you start putting a player on a particular set of hand then you may make a lot of wrong assumptions and those assumptions are going to compound the mistakes so you don't fall in that trap okay so there's a lot of content actually that I created for this book or uh, this poker course uh, and you can check it out on Amazon also 
okay so this is a nice point like balancing the game you can't be super tight the entire cash game session like if you're just playing tight no one is going to give you any action anytime you know you raise everyone is going to fold so uh, in those kind of situations like uh, it's, it's a multi-way pot, you hit your set and there are some loose players, you're, anyway you are going to get, you know, paid back. But uh, also think about like some situations where you can take advantage of the board, for example, uh, you are playing heads up and uh, there's, you know, the turn uh, brings a backdoor flush draw and the you know river completes it and you haven't uh, hit anything and uh, like think about like how you could exploit the other person or take advantage of this situation so and if you keep taking advantage of such situations you are going to win okay so, yeah, this is like the ABC game, so you know like from early position what kind of hand you'll be playing, from middle position like uh, you will play like pocket 8 plus ace, king suited, ace, queen suited, jack suited, late position like you'll play uh, any pocket pair, a eight suited, broadways. So that way, like you can design a range for yourself that suits you with a little trial and error. Like you can expand your range a little or, uh, you know, like your competition isn't going to change much. For example, if you play in a card room, that's you know playing five ten about one two two five blinds over the course of the year like people aren't going to vary their styles that much so in like first you know five ten sessions you can uh, you know design some ranges like what you will play from each position then think about like what kind of situations you want to be in that's going to you know reduce the variance for you and uh, that way uh, basically once you have it set then you know it's winning is going to be easy and then you can have your win rate and then you will know okay this is the amount that i'm going to win on average in a month okay so i guess i shared with you a lot of if you know concepts these you already know like controlling uh, losses with one pair two pair it's actually very important to not build big pots you know not uh, go over with one pair two pair kind of hand and to fold whenever uh, like you should or whenever you get a chance you know just folding it when the other shows through my strength of course you are going to get bluffed sometimes but uh, if you save some money in a hand, then you can always make it back. Uh, you have the chance of, you know, making that small amount of money into a much large amount of money. Uh, sometimes what has happened, uh, like my stack has gone down to just 10 big blinds. And uh, on some days I don't want to, you know, add more to my stack. So I will, you know, just wait for premium hands. And sometimes those 10 big blinds I have you know taken to as much as uh, 300 or 400 big blinds so you should always think in terms of that <coughs> and uh, <coughs> you know not just throw those 10 big blinds okay I think that's it and uh, one last point I just want to share with you is <coughs> anytime you are uh, you know at a table then your edge will reflect uh, in your stack like if your stack is increasing then you know you are having an edge and that edge is manifesting in your you know stack increase and if you know your stack is just there and it's not increasing 
you had you have about 200 big blinds and you know you are going nowhere so anything could happen there like you don't have any edge or you know uh, some players are you know too much better than you or you are getting bluffed so in those kind of situations like you can you know get up or what's happening slowly slowly your stack is going down so then you have to think okay you're not having an edge you are losing money and you should quickly you know call it quits and get up from the session okay i think that's it thanks for listening